Today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the um, balance shafts on a Saab B204 engine. So this is the replacement engine I've got for the Mark II Escort. Um, got the old one out there. Bottom end failure on that from uh, oil starvation. So I'm in the process of uh, putting a new engine in it, remaking the uh, sump with a better design because it was uh, due to that that caused the um, oil starvation. So just getting this red engine ready and uh, I'm going to take get rid of the balance shafts. A um, couple of reasons for doing it. So they add a lot of additional moving parts quite a bit of additional weight um, when you take them out you'll see that it's quite a substantial thing to um, move so when you remove them you get an engine that revs a bit freer also less things to fail um, so it just simplifies the engine a bit more probably one of the best things is going to be if you take the shaft out and actually plug all the oil ways you will increase the oil pressure to everything else by doing away with these so that's going to be good so it's uh, cam chain driven we'll see chain instead of a belt it's your main drive chain coming down here and back up through this guide your balance shaft chain is completely separate it's this one here this is your tensioner which runs off oil pressure this is your tensioner for the main chain so um, we're going to remove both shafts this pulley um, this guide and pull the shafts out and then plug the plug the holes so uh, we'll start by just removing everything we need to So this we don't need, but this little sleeve which sits on there, you could leave this in there just flopping around, but what you need to do is either machine another one of these sleeves or just cut this off. So I'll just cut that off in the bandsaw so that it's just a, a spacer because this little edge here locates around that and if you don't have that back in there this is going to be able to slide in and out that's the balance shaft so just it's basically just to counteract the way that the engine is being shaken around by all the moving parts inside. They just use basically just weights to sort of counteract what's going on and smooth the uh, running of the engine out because Saabs were a kind of, I wouldn't really say luxury, but they were quite refined um so you know everything they would have wanted super smooth quiet engines but we're not really we're not worried about that so what we got here and inside which i doubt i'm going to be able to show you you can just about see the uh the bearing in there well you can't but <coughs> So these run on a bearing similar, you know, similar to like a crank bearing. And then here, so you have an oil way coming through the center of the bearing at the back. You've also got an oil way there and one somewhere in here, one there. And that hole feeds up to this idler here. So once you've blocked that, you're blocking off 
the feed to that idler as well so you don't need to worry about doing anything with that top one the battery's phone's dead now so as I've made these on the lathe got four of these that is going to be like a tight knock-in fit into the back bearing that's going to be a tight knock-in fit to that it's going to plug all those oilways up and then to get this back one in because I want to do it without pulling the core plugs out the back so I've basically just got a bit of tube I'll just turn the end down so that it fits over and I'll use that to just whack the uh, I'm just marking the width for the the little sleeve so that I know that when I've whacked it to about there should be all the way in. I need to make sure that it's definitely in the thing so I don't end up knocking that back bearing out. Because if you knock the bearing out of its if I knock the the actual bearing out of its sleeve I'll have to take that plug out to fish it out anyway instead of uh like filling it. Looking good. This is a uh, pretty difficult to film, but if you can see, the sleeve is like basically in there. Um, I've just uh, knocked that core plug out the back because uh, looking down to where this bearing sits, the bearing's kind of sat in a bit from the face that the bearing should sit in. So if you imagine that was where the bearing's supposed to sit, it was sat, you've got about a five mil gap on this side, so I thought I might have been pushing the bearing out of its sleeve so I just knocked that out just to check that it hadn't been pushing out of the back and it hasn't it's uh it's just that the bearing sits uh like sort of central to the surface where the bearing would sit on so I'm just seeing an edge because I looked down this one I could see the same edge before I'd knocked anything into it so I, I was pretty sure that was what was going on but I just wanted to check but uh, now with a bit of light in there, you should be able to, hopefully. No, not really any better. You get the idea. So now I've got these ones which are going to go into there. I just need to make something for tapping these in. One knocker. That's all the balance shaft oilways blocked. We now need to block this one. It's oil feed to the tensioner. So we'll basically just trace that, cut a uh, little blanking plate out on the plasma table, bolt it on with a bit of sealer. You can, uh, some people will just drill and tap or uh, this hole and put a bolt in there. But I think I don't really want to be uh, adding any metal filings into the mix. Never really a good idea. So um, we won't do that.
Bit of sealer on there. That seals that one out, and then this thing, no not that one, this one, we're just going to chop that piece out of it. So that's just the centre piece, goes back on there, like that. That is an oil way there. But that's blocked off by the cover. Some of these engines have a uh, oil fed tensioner, which I think would come off of that. Um, that can go back on. And then obviously, you want to clean all these surfaces up, clean all your covers out. Job done. Balance shafts deleted.